And I do believe that we have rotten, rotten politics. And I'm, I'm not using that as an exaggeration. In this video, we're going to be having a look at the wee cranky, the ankle biter, the fish face, fish hag herself. Nicola Sturgeon, as she's been humiliated, I love that word, humiliated, especially when it's about a SMP, humiliated, I said it again, <laughs> as one of her advisors for independence has said full Scottish independence could take 25 years. Yes, you heard that right. Nicola, if you're listening, ha, that means that you can't be the woman that gains your freedom to then subsequently hand it off to a European empire. Maybe this is a good thing. Maybe this has saved your legacy as being not just the woman that locked up their co her country till the economy crashed. It does actually look like the fish hag herself is going to put Scotland in complete national lockdown like Wales have just done for a quotation short period. But you could have also been the woman that enslaved your people to Europe. Now, this is in regards to currency more than anything. Now, obviously, if they leave, they don't have their own currency. If they want to get into the EU, they'd have to take the euro anyway, even though that is falling and crumbling and is costing everybody a lot of money at the minute. But that wouldn't be immediately. So what's this guy who, what's he called? Andrew Wilson, who's a key advisor to, to Sturgeon, said Scotland could be independent by 2026, but the currency transition could take even longer. But yesterday, the forecast seemed less optimistic and Mr. Wilson admitted the introduction of a new Scottish currency should not take place too soon. He claims... His claims are in line with Miss Sturgeon's idea to implement a new currency moderately. Can I just say this at the minute, Scotland and Sturgeon especially, what makes you think if you leave the UK United Kingdom that you will allow be allowed to use our currency after? What makes you think that that's going to be the case? In fact, you wouldn't even be worthy of an English fart after that moment. Not a single thing would go across our border, in my opinion. No more trade, no more anything. You want out, you're out. Let's see if Europe will protect you like we have. Sorry, I got a bit angry there, but they, I hate the SNP. They're going to drive Scotland into the ground and they're all going to do it and run off with all the money they've made while everybody else in Scotland has to suffer. And I like Scottish people. Now, Mr. Wilson was responsible for drawing up the SNP's economic roadmap for independence before the Lurgy pandemic. So he knows what he's talking Well, he thinks he knows what he's talking about. Obviously, Nicola Sturgeon hasn't paid any attention to him whatsoever. If he thinks that you can't switch change over to their own currency for 25 years, that means that you are reliant on others and their currency for 25 years how is that not slavery everybody if you're listening any scots how is that not slavery this smp are going to drive you into slavery to another nation due to currency alone just currency is it not time you started sit thinking for yourselves and start looking at the smp for what they really are and that's snakes that will do anything for a different master than the people he said, we're not imagining ourselves into a position of where we would like to be in 10 years. We're dealing with the transition and what that could do to people's jobs and the risk of people moving their money out of the country. That says it all, doesn't it? I mean, this is an economic expert saying that people will move their money out of the country. Why would they move their money out of the country, Mr. Wilson? Go on, explain why you would move the m move money out of a country. I'll tell you why. He's admitting there that the economy is not capable of withstanding on its own for Scotland. And in, in those sort of instances, they would have to start ripping into taxes and things for the rich. And the rich would then leave which means they would have to then translate that tax on the rich onto tax of everybody. So, he listening, Scotland, pay heed to these words. This is their economic advisor telling Sturgeon that people would move the money, and with the money, the jobs that the money creates. 
with big integration with the rest of the UK, you wouldn't after that mortgages, pensions, wages. So if you were to say right from day one that we've had our own currency, then you don't know what's going to happen to your pay, your pension. It's risky towards the economy and also eco- politically risky because people would uh, would be uncertain and we'd spend the whole referendum campaign talking about what would happen to mortgages and pensions. And therefore, and you haven't explained either, and therefore having a referendum on what would happen in the first few weeks rather than over the next 25 years. So he's effectively said there as well that there would be massive catastrophic damage to you on the short term, but within a 25 year period it might get a little bit better. Scotland, please do yourself a favour and get rid of these muppets. Critics hit out of Mr Wilson over his policy of the introduction of a new currency questioning his proposed timeline. During an interview on Herald on Sunday, Mr Wilson defended his plan arguing that as soon as practicable did not mean right away. He said Scottish people would need to accept that we don't have monetary sovereignty for the first period after independence which means you don't have independence if you're reliant on somebody else's monetary system you do not have independence Mr. Wilson said, why rush your fence? Except that we don't have monetary sovereignty for the first period after independence. After all, we don't have it now. We'd have all other powers. Would you, really? The monetary policy, if you're re- relying on other people's money, you haven't got all other powers. The monetary policy situation that we have now would continue until such a time that it's no longer in our interests. Mr. Brown said, what we are hearing from the polls is that independence isn't yet settled, Will, but it is settling. It's important not to rush the fence because we'll give the Prime Minister the ability to resonate with people by saying now is not the time. It would be a mistake to say we're there yet. People could change their mind again, but I detect a growing solidarity. A growing stupidity, I would actually call that, put that down to. If you think that Scotland are capable of doing it on your own, even with the EU, because you do think if you would be sat at the main table if you join the EU Scotland you've got another thing coming if you want to know how you would be treated look at the outlying countries member countries of the EU that are already in now look how they're treated if you're wondering how you would be treated look how Italy was treated look how Greece is treated yeah exactly you would just be another cash cow and you've got no cash which means they would bleed you absolutely dry and then leave you at the side in the gutter and that's if you even got in in the first place which I highly doubt in fact given the fact that Catalonia and all the other separatist places would immediately jump on it I think it would be a bloody miracle if you ever got in Sorry, but you deserve better than that, in my opinion. But what say you? I'd like to know your opinion on this one. Do you think Sturgeon's bitten off more than she can chew again? Do you think it would take 25 years? Do you think we would allow them to use our monetary system, even though they'd stuck the two-finger salute up to us and left? Because I don't think we would. In fact, I don't even think we'd trade with them for quite a while, because I'd be quite salty. I'm not too sure about you, but I would be demanding that we do no deals whatsoever with Scotland. You want to desert us and you want to go somebody somewhere else. You go you go right ahead. I've got I will not stop you, but you won't get support from me. If you're new to the channel, don't forget to hit the like, comment, subscribe, hit the bell icon, share it out, everyone. Scotland, sort yourselves out, and I'll see you on the next one.